I know that I'm here to heal. And all of the reflection has been, you can heal yourself, you can heal yourself. And I said, I know, I know, and I'm doing everything that I know how to do. And uh, I'm still, he well, that I think, and I'm still here, right? We're just going to modify a couple of words as we go along here. Yeah. Instead of saying, I'm going to heal myself, it might be more resistance-free and helpful for you to say something more like, I've turned in the direction of well-being, and that's what's calling me. Because when you talk about healing, you're turned in the direction of what you're wanting to overcome. But when you turn in the direction of the well-being that is really more natural and much more dominant, it's a different vibrational approach. Can you feel it? Yeah. In terms of terminology, it sounds like almost the same thing, but it isn't at all. If what you're leaving is dominant, then you don't leave. If where you're going is dominant, then you go. So you just have to ask yourself what the word healing means. Is it leaving something unwanted or is it moving towards something wanted? The word doesn't matter, but how you feel about it does. Mm -hmm. So with that, standing in that space of moving towards something that I want and trusting the process and knowing that it's all in, in divine timing, what can I do to make it go faster? <laughs> <clears throat> we would watch an unrelated movie. We would quiet our mind and let our mind wander on the pleasantries that your inner being... You see, when we talk about the path of least resistance, what we mean is the path toward that non-resisted thought. Non-resistance is non-resistance. The path of least resistance is the path to non-resistance. So the path of least resistance or the path to non-resistance is a really feel-good path. Feel the difference between overcoming something which is full of grit and determination and the feeling of letting well-being be. They're different feelings. And so the daydreaming that we're talking about will cause you to release resistance so that the cells of your body who are calling for whatever it is they need are allowed to receive what they need because you're not in the way with your human and therefore bulky and awkward intervention. Is it all right with you if we ask you some questions? Absolutely. Through this process, do you feel more aware of your inner being Absolutely. existence than before? Yeah. And because of your awareness of your inner being's existence, are you now more aware of your vibrational relationship with it? In other words, do your emotions tell you more? Do your emotions give you more information? Yes. And can you tell the difference between trying and letting? Most of the time. So that's the key. Can you feel the difference between struggle and ease? Can you feel the difference between, we don't want to get too ridiculous, confusion and clarity, blah, 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 all of that. But if you can feel the difference, and it's not a subtle difference, it's a big difference. So when you say most of the time, we want to argue with that a little bit because we think there's a big difference between trying to make something happen and knowing that it's already happened and just being willing to allow the rest of it to catch up. The cells of your body are remarkable. They have so much capacity that science and medicine does not understand. They are remaking themselves constantly. If you want to know the closest conspiracy that affects you, it's a conspiracy of your cellular being. Your cellular being is responding to your source energy. And to the degree that you let that be, that's how you speed it up. 